Hi guys, welcome to another session with me. It is Tuesday, or this is for Tuesday, October 22nd, 2024. And remember that these sessions are for encouragement, empowerment, and guidance in how to live a fulfilling life because that is my mission. I use the Daily Stoic for just ideas on what to talk about with regard to inspiration and motivation. And Stoic, Stoic philosophy is very helpful because it's grounded, it's logical, and it's, you know, it's very sensible. And I'm using Ryan Holiday's Daily Stoic, and I always talk about the entry for that day. For copyright purposes, I am not going to read the entire page just like the header, the quotation from the philosopher. On my end, how was your Monday? Monday for me was good. It was cruise control. For those of you who don't know yet, who don't know me, I'm Daniel and I currently work as a school nurse, but of course I have a background in intensive care. I have worked with death and the dying and that's why my mission really is to encourage people to live a fulfilled and empowered life and this is a good start by joining me in this video all right let's begin because i don't want to take too much of your time oh and for those who are new too so what we do is i talk about the main topic for today from daily stoic and then we ask a question if there is from the daily oracle for some encouragement and inspiration and then we do like a meditation session okay all right, for the 22nd of October, it's easy to get better. But better at what? So someone's good at taking down an opponent, but that doesn't make them more community-minded or modest or well-prepared for any circumstance or more tolerant of the faults of others. Those are the words of Marcus Aurelius in Meditations. The main point of Ryan Holiday here is, you know, when you do better, it's very focused. We, we tend to think that it's focused on skills and competency, but then we forget to be a better person, a better human being too. And I think it's important to develop your human, your humanity and your being personable, because I know that you know, these days it's such a competitive market, the job market is very competitive and you don't know, you know, if you're gonna have your job or you know, but to keep your job next year or what. And you're slowly re realizing, I'm sure, that you're not the only one with, you know, the credentials that you have. There are people who have the same credentials as you, if not better or less. So my question to you is, what makes you stand out? And this is where um, today's Stoic philosophy comes in, is that it encourages us to be better, but not just in skills, but in being a human being, in being personable, in being gracious, in being polite, because we tend to forget that, especially in cities, because I know, I know that it's always, oh, it's always about the bottom line, it's always about the bottom line, bottom line, you know, it's results and I get that that's true I get that that's important but really what adds to your value is who you are how you present yourself do you present yourself as someone professional as someone approachable and as someone trustworthy someone with integrity because I know that employers companies do value that along with the skills you're developing okay now, I know some of you are watching this video looking for an upper, something to uplift you, to help enhance your mood, because I need that too. And I do watch these videos for some lifting of my mood. So one thing I will say is that, you know, it's Tuesday today. We are going to march on and be a soldier. We take things one day at a time. We focus on the present moment. We do what we can. We do our best. We try to be intentional and we try to focus on being 100% of what we can do 
at, you know, in the moment. And I've made another list from Ryan Holiday too, where he talks about the different days of the weeks and what to meditate on. And for Tuesday, he highlights anticipate negativity. Now I know that in the law of attraction, etc., we should think of positive things. And yep, that's true. We will focus our attention on positive things, on positive biases. But sometimes we also have to prepare for what if the wor for the worst to happen because we have to be real and we have to be in touch with reality. So for Tuesday today, we are talking about being a better human being, better with your skills, continue always developing your skills and your humanity and to consider um, worst case scenarios. Don't dwell on it, just consider it and try to make a rough plan on what to do. But I repeat, do not dwell on it, okay? But it's important to be realistic about it and if i can share a moment about you know anticipate negativity is that i had a job once i can't really be detailed about it but let's just say i know i can't win in that job like no matter what i do no matter how hard i try this system works against me i am set up to fail and by the way i'm not promoting victimhood etc it's just that you might come across something too wherein no matter how early you go to work no matter how much effort you put in no matter what skills you you learn and relearn because i had to relearn how to type <laughs> efficiently there's a limit to things and me anticipating negativity wasn't really a bad thing it wasn't developing on the negative it's more of like i'm going to accept that there will be people who are upset with me because of natural consequences and i will deal with that because there's no point of me thinking oh it's going to be fine but i know it's not i'm going to get frustrated if i just think positively and it turns out it's always going to be a mess all the time um long story short eventually i had to leave that job but my point is to be real with your workplace to be in touch with reality but don't dwell on it and if you can, try to flip that perspective into something positive and meaningful, okay? All right, I don't hold you for too long, but that is the stoic message of the day. Be better with your skills and with being a human. You will excel and go further. Now we go to our Ask the Oracle if we have a question. I do have not a question, but a concern. I don't want to say it out loud. It's a bit personal, but... Um, Let's see what the oracle says. If you've got a question or concern, keep that in your mind. And let's see what the oracle says. Oh no. Sorry. It's okay. I opened the page and then I lost it. Let's do it again. Do, yeah. do what you love, even if you never get paid for it. Doing what you love, it doesn't have to be a job. It doesn't have to be your main source of income. But to bring joy to your life, you have to do it. As a hobby, as a pastime, you have to do it. And you will come a point in your life where nothing satisfies you anymore you just need to do something that will fulfill you but you still need your day job and that's fine keep your day job but find time to listen to your heart and do what you love and these this these videos actually i do enjoy them <laughs> i enjoy uh, connecting with you and just creating something that's like a keepsake you know, it's like a journal, in a way. So do what you love. That answer my concern. Um, not really, but there was another page here. Okay. Anywho. I'd like to, before we go to meditation, one more thing is yesterday's reading, Stoic, Stoic Principle was about, you know, being a hero in the here and now. I wanted to add that to also be a hero for yourself. But there are some things that we need to do that needs to be done that needs courage and that's where you need to be a hero for you okay so i hope that resonates i hope that your tuesday is going well i hope your week is going well and if not i am holding your hand 
and we're going to get through this and I invite you to keep on joining me in these videos, in these daily videos, which I'm doing my best to really produce, you know, daily. All right, now let's do our one minute of meditation. Yesterday was guided meditation, so this time around, we're just going to do a silent, reflective moment. Nothing of reflection, but really just to keep quiet, be still, be in the moment, and feel. Feel your being, feel your existence. All right. Make sure your back is supported. You can place your hands on your lap facing up or whatever, or, your, or palms to your chest. Whatever feels good, whatever feels empowering to you. Let's begin. well you hear the dogs that was a good one i hope that when you do these um silent meditations when you sit down i know sometimes for new people for beginners it's like oh, okay what am i doing here i'm just sitting down and that is the start of it it's really just sit down be quiet close your eyes focus on your breathing be still do nothing 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 feel that nothingness and eventually bliss Okay. All right. That's it for this video. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you again tomorrow. If you're new here and you like the vibe, please like and subscribe. See, I'll see you next time.